Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Daily News Editorial. Uh, today I have taken up an article from the uh, Indian Express that will basically uh, talk about uh, the sickle cell anemia and it is how it is prevalent among the tribal populations of India. So today we will be covering these topics that is uh, what the disease is about. Now, uh, what uh, what happens uh, to people with the disease about the Ayushman Bharat program and the government initiatives to address the challenges uh, faced by the tribal population. So, let's get started. Now, uh, India is a country of diversity and unity in diversity is our identity. That is uh, one of the mantras given by our Prime Minister that is one India create India. Now, the government of India is making sure that the benefits of the country's advanced healthcare facilities uh, reach every individual, even those on the bottom rungs of the social ladder. So, here are a few uh, topics that you need to note down or keep in mind with respect to both prelims and mains. Now, this will help you with your society. Uh, part as well and the governor's part as well for the mains exam. In India, there are approximately 706 different tribal communities which uh, con constitute 8.6% of the total population. Our tribal population is an integral part of our country's rich cultural heritage. Now, uh, to uh, remember is there are 706 different tribal communities which constitute 8.6% of the total population of India. Now, uh, what is the sickle cell anemia disease? So, now sickle cell anemia is an inherited blood disorder. inherited blood I am really sorry for today's uh, writing uh, so it is an inherited blood disorder that is characterized by abnormal red blood cells and it is caused by a genetic mutation that affects the uh, hemoglobin uh, protein in red blood cells. So hemoglobin is also responsible for carrying oxygen throughout the body. Now what happens is uh, this genetic mutation causes the red blood cells to become rigid, sticky and shaped like a crescent of this shape. So the red blood cells become of this shape. Now uh, these abnormally uh, shaped cells can get stuck in small blood vessels which leads to blockages and reduced blood flow to various organs and tissues. Now this can cause a range of symptoms and complications. So some common types of uh, symptoms are uh, fatigue, anemia like low red uh, blood cell count, then pain episodes known as sickle cell cr uh, crisis, susceptibility to infections, delayed growth and development in children and jaundice. So these symptoms can vary in severity uh, from person to person. Now sickle cell anemia is uh, a very chronic condition that requires ongoing management and medical care. Now, treatment options aim to relieve symptoms, uh, prevent complications and uh, improve the quality of life as well. So this may include medications, blood transfusions, pain management and also taking steps to prevent further infections. And uh, here it becomes very important to note that sickle cell anemia is a hereditary condition meaning it is passed down from parents to their children. So to inherit sickle cell anemia uh, a person must receive the sickle cell gene from both parents. It is not just one parent. So, if a person uh, inherits the gene from only one parent, then they may have a condition called sickle cell trait, which is not uh, which does not usually cause the symptoms, but can be passed on to their children. 
So uh, now this kind of this, this disease, sickle cell anemia, is more common in people um, of African, Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and Indian descent. So, uh, and this is prevalent mostly uh, among the tribal communities of India. So, in the tribal communities, the most affected tribes are Bhil, Gon, Koli, and Toda tribes. So, uh, this is due to the genetic predisposition resulting from centuries of intermarriage among carriers of the sickle cell trade. Now, uh, we will look at what the article says about uh, this particular uh, disease. So, sickle cell disease is a serious health challenge in India's tribal population. It is a genetic disorder like we said, uh, like we uh, discussed and it is mostly found in the common among the tribal communities. Now, it poses significant threat to the future and existence of our uh, indigenous populations. That is why it is very important to prevent the spread of this disease in a very timely manner. Now the na uh, national, uh, sorry, the launch of national campaign uh, known as Sickle Cell Anemia Elimination Mission 2047 was done uh, in the central budget for the financial year 2023 to 2024. So this was done, uh, this announcement was made under the budget. So uh, this and the sickle cell disease uh, exists in two forms. Like I said, the sickle cell trade and the sickle cell disease. What happens in the trade individually does not exhibit any disease or symptoms and it he, he or she lives a very normal life. And the second form is characterized by the presence of symptoms related to sickle cell disease. Now in 13 states of the country, namely Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Odisha, Telangana, uh, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, uh, Karnataka and Maharashtra. There is a very high prevalence of this disease. Now a person suffering from sickle cell disease faces numerous health problems like I dis discussed already that persistent pain, fatigue, anemia and this uh, impacts their day to day. Uh, activities in life. So uh, the first approach to prevent or to uh, eliminate this disease is to focus on prevention, ensuring that uh, new cases are not uh, born while the second approach involves managing the treatment and providing adequate health care facilities for individuals who are already affected by the disease. Now, if two individuals with the sickle cell trait marry each other, there is a high probability that their child will have sickle cell disease. So, by screening individuals for sickle cell trait before marriage, the spread of the disease can be prevented. That is what has been happening for centuries in the tribal communities because, um, because of the intermarriage happening with uh, intermarriage uh, happening within the uh, tribes, people who carry the sickle cell trait, not actually the disease. When they these parents come together, uh, their child is uh, almost nearly sure to have the sickle cell disease. Now, uh, 70 million individuals uh, aged 0 to 40 years belonging to tribal and other groups residing in nearly 200 districts of 17 states are being planned to screen in the next few years. So the goal is to eliminate sickle cell disease by the year 2047. Now after screening, individuals will be provided with smart cards in their local language, enabling prospective partners to easily determine whether their future children will be affected by sickle cell disease or not. Um, and to implement this entire program, monitoring uh, mechanisms will be established at various levels to ensure participation and bring awareness on a very large scale.
so individuals identified with the disease through uh, screening they will undergo regular testing receive treatment and medication and vaccinations for other diseases as well and the, uh, the government will also ensure that they get their dietary support and have access to timely counseling services so the government has allocated a sufficient budget uh, utilized uh, advanced technology and has provided training to healthcare workers ensured necessary infrastructure and also has made efforts in social awareness and participation to combat the disease now social awareness is something that is very important a lot of people don't know what happens in sickle cell anemia what is how is it different from normal anemia right so social awareness is very important now how can exactly Ayushman Bharat help in addressing the uh, issues or challenges of sickle cell anemia among the tribal communities? But before that, what exactly is the Ayushman Bharat program? Now, it is also known as the uh, Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana, and it is a flagship uh, healthcare scheme launched by the government of India. So, the key features are uh, health insurance coverage, uh, coverage, cashless transactions, impanelled hospitals and services. Uh, so, it has a network of impanelled hospitals uh, across the country. Now, then there is portability. So, services uh, portability allow the beneficiaries to seek medical treatment at any impanelled hospital or healthcare facility across the country. So, beneficiary identification. So, it also uses robust identification mechanism to ident identify eligible beneficiaries. Then there are wellness centers as well, uh, as well, which are known as Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Centers. So it is a significant step towards achieving universal health coverage in India. Now, by providing financial protection and improving access to health care, it aims to reduce the burden of medical expenses and ensure that individuals and families receive the necessary health care they need without facing financial hardship. Now, how can this be extended to the, uh, what do you say, the bottom rungs of the social ladder? Now, the first is to increase access to health care. So, um, by extending the schemes to the uh, communities, like tribal communities, individuals affected by sickle cell anemia can gain better access to healthcare services. And this includes diagnostic tests, specialized consultations, hospitalizations, and treatments required for managing sickle cell anemia. Next is uh, financial protection. Uh, it uh, because this disease requires long term management and um, treatment, which can be financially burdensome uh, for tribal families. So, Ayushman Bharat actually provides financial protection by covering the cost of hospitalization and medical expenses. Then is the early detection and prevention. So, Ayushman Bharat can support early detection and prevention of sickle cell anemia through preventive healthcare services. Now, by covering uh, regular health checkups and scre uh, screening tests, the scheme can actually enable uh, early identification of individuals with sickle cell trait or those at the risk of developing the disease. So, early detection allows for timely interventions, uh, genetic counseling and also um, preventive measures reducing the incidence and the severity of the disease in tribal communities. Next is specialized care and treatment. So, Ayushman Bharat can actually facilitate um, access to specialized care and treatment centers for sickle cell anemia. Now, these centers can be equipped with the necessary infrastructure, medical professionals and expertise to provide comprehensive care um, including both uh, blood, tra sorry, including uh, blood transfusions, uh, pain management, supportive therapies, etc. So, uh, tribal individuals with these uh, with this disease can actually benefit from quality healthcare services closer to their communities and reducing the need uh, for longer distance travel and associated challenges. Now, health awareness and education. This is something that is uh, very important. That Ayushman Bharat uh, can incorporate health awareness and education initiatives specific to the disease. 
Now, through targeted awareness campaigns, um, training of healthcare workers, and dissemination of information, uh, the scheme can actually uh, raise awareness about the disease, its symptoms, complications, uh, and the importance of reg uh, regular checkups. So, uh, this actually empowers uh, tribal communities with knowledge to identify and manage sickle cell anemia very effectively. The last one is strengthening healthcare infrastructure. So, extending this um, Ayushman Bharat program to tribal communities necessitates uh, strengthening the healthcare infrastructure in these particular areas. Uh, this includes setting up healthcare facilities, diagnostic centers, and blood banks with necessary equipment and expertise to address the specific needs of sickle cell anemia. Now, uh, improving infrastructure also ensures that quality healthcare services are available and accessible to tribal uh, tribal individuals affected by the disease. So, by extending Ayushman Bharat to tribal communities. The government can significantly improve uh, healthcare access, financial protection, and early detection uh, of sickle cell anemia. Now, uh, uh, what uh, are few of the government initiatives uh, to address the sickle cell anemia in the tribal uh, population? The first one is the National uh, Sickle Cell Anemia Control Program. So, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare launched this particular program to control sickle cell anemia in tribal areas and it also aims to strengthen the capacity of healthcare providers and promote research in the um, particular field. Next is sickle cell anemia control program in uh, tribal areas. Now, several states in India including Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, uh, Chhattisgarh and Odisha have implemented state level programs specifically targeting sickle cell anemia in tribal regions. Next is sickle cell anemia testing and counseling centers. So the government has also uh, established uh, testing and counseling centers in tribal areas to facilitate early detection and genetic counseling for sickle cell anemia. Next is integration of traditional tribal knowledge. Now, recognizing the importance of traditional tribal knowledge, the government has emphasized integrating traditional healing practices and cultural beliefs into the healthcare system. Uh, next is uh, research and development. The government also encourages research and development initiatives to uh, advance the understanding, prevention and treatment of sickle cell anemia and this includes uh, supporting scientific studies, collaborations with research institutions and promoting innovation in healthcare delivery. Uh, next is tribal uh, health workers. Now government has trained and deployed tribal health workers also known as accredited social health activists that is ASHAs and auxiliary nurse midwives in tribal areas uh, and this frontline healthcare uh, workers play a vital role in raising awareness, conducting health camps, providing counseling and facilitating access to healthcare services for sickle cell anemia. The last one is collaborations and partnerships. So the government collaborates with various organizations both governmental and non-governmental to address sickle cell anemia in tribal communities. And these partnerships involve sharing resources, expertise and best practices to improve the overall response to the disease. So these government initiatives actually uh, collectively aim to reduce the burden of sickle cell anemia in tribal communities by uh, various ways like improving awareness, healthcare infrastructure, access to services and the quality of uh, care. But uh, it is an ongoing process and sustained efforts are very necessary to achieve a very significant uh, progress in combating the disease among the tribal populations in India. So that is basically it with respect to this article. Now, before winding up, I will uh, like to post a main question for you. So, the main question is, discuss the potential uh, impact of extending the Ayushman Bharat program 
on addressing sickle cell anemia in tribal communities of India. How can the scheme contribute to improving healthcare access and quality for individuals affected by sickle cell anemia? And you can write the answer in 250 words. So that's all for today, folks. I hope you liked today's uh, video and thank you for watching. And if you want to watch more such videos and stay updated with current affairs, you may subscribe to our Telegram and YouTube channel as well. The link to which has been provided in the description box. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Till then, take care and bye-bye.